just look what arrived here the Huawei MatePad 11 which is interestingly enough 10.95 inches big the first my first out-of-the-box Huawei Harmon US device so let's get started with the unboxing So besides the MatePad itself, also the new Huawei M Pencil arrived, as well as the Huawei Smart Magnetic Keyboard that's compatible with the MatePad 11. So I first start unboxing the MatePad 11, which is like I said, 10.95 inches big, has a resolution of 2560 by 1600 pixel, a 13 megapixel back facing camera and 6 gigabyte of RAM, a Snapdragon Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 5G processor, 7250 milliampere hours of battery. First of all, we get the tablet clone app and the Huawei app gallery. So, information on how to get millions of apps here using Petal Search. Especially useful for those people who yeah, have difficulties still with Huawei devices without Google services. Then we have a nice a little pull uh, here, pull tab here, and we have the device itself. Wow, and it doesn't feel heavy at all. Let's see the color. It is a black matte color, as, as you can see here. And here you can see the back facing camera. It is a module that look li looks like there are multiple cameras, but only one 13 megapixel uh, back facing camera that is of course capable of recording 4k there's a flash and this i think is the microphone hole if you want to record some audio out of it there's a serial number and a mac as you can see here this is like with a barcode as well we can get rid of this to have the clean outfit here and there you can see the huawei logo we can see harman kardon Harman Kardon, can you see it there maybe slightly? These are the loudspeakers because we can see on the side here we have one, two, USB type C, 3.1, three, and four speakers on this device. So this is as powerful, maybe even a bit more powerful than the Huawei MatePad Pro from 2019. Then we can also see with the red accent color this is the power button and on the top we have the volume rocker we have some holes here as well maybe some microphone holes and yeah the usb type c that's basically everything there no no there we have like a connection for as well you can put in like 5g uh, sim card or you can put in uh, a memory card a nano memory card i think it is or micro sd card even let's 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 see first of all let's get the other things out here uh yeah we have the power brick let's get this out of here this looks like a small power brick that has a huawei supercharge on here and if you take a look at the output it's like 5 volts 2 ampere which would be 10 watts and then 18 watts and then maximum 22.5 watts maximum on this power brick. it's even written there so it's a small little power brick it's not the fastest charging but i think it's okay for the 7000 million hours uh, battery so this is that and then we have some documentation and the rest here so here we have the sim eject tool let me get this out of here so i can show you what is in if i can get it out even rings there we go and yeah let me open up the sim tray to see if there's really or the tray here if there's really a sim slot in in there open it up and what we have here is no only micro sd card as you can see here sd card it's written here as well sd card so this version that i have here only supports supports the micro sd card which is interesting for huawei devices and here is space for a uh, SIM as well, if you want to have the 5G SIM model, but I only have the Wi-Fi model here. So uh, then what we have here 
some documentation and cables, I guess. Yes, so we have some documentations here, warranties and so on. And here we can also see the USB type C to A cable for charging. Yeah, just a normal one to 22.5 watts. Yeah, and that's it. So let's turn on the device. Press and hold the power button. And we can see Huawei logo here. And now we should see the Harmony OS uh, boot animation. And a few seconds. Ah, oh, you can hear the sound. Wow, it's pretty loud. And the new Harmony OS startup sound and logo as well and animation. And here we go. Pretty fast and starting up. We can see the bezels are a bit big, I would say, but for a tablet, I don't mind because I have to hold it like this anyway when I'm holding it. And uh, ah, by the way, I missed one camera, I think. There's a selfie camera, 8 megapixel at the top, which is located here. I think you can see it now. There we go, camera, 8 megapixel, which is nice because usually I ha have my tablet like this and not like this where uh, it would like a bit bit would be a bit awkward it's pretty thin as well the tablet is not very thick and it feels lightweight it's an lcd um not an oled just like the matepad pro uh, 12 inch but i think this would work as well so let's go here click on english get started uh, united kingdom is fine the next button i can connect to my wi-fi and uh, do the other stuff. But what I want to do is, uh, I will pause right now, I will do all the uh, first installation with it kind of thing, and then will then unbox the uh, magnetic keyboard and the Huawei Pencil as well. Just one thing that I noticed, uh, by default it's using the Microsoft Swift key, so they didn't switch to the Celia keyboard yet, that was released I think a couple of weeks ago. So still by default even on Huawei OS uh, devices Microsoft Swift key is the virtual keyboard. There is also a face recognition uh, available and you can also enable race to wake. I don't like race to wake so I disable it but I will start with the face recognition. I have to do it off camera but you can see how this will work out here. My face after this I can uh, name it just type LL and I can enable all services and set up enhanced services. I don't want those right now. The user experience program I can later and analytics later. Hyper location service I think makes sense. Keep software up to date. Yes, I want to have updates automatically applied. Uh, pedal search. I don't need this right now. I know how it works. I can import data from another device if I want to or set up as a new device. So I could import data now from my MatePad Pro, but I will set up as a new device for now. Can do it later. I can try out gestures if I want to. Uh, you know, this uh, is like pretty much the same thing that we had before, but you will notice as well eventually that at least I'm noticing it's super fluid for some reason. And I think it has something to do with the display itself because the display is 120 Hertz. So it has an advantage to the MatePad Pro, the older generation 10.8 from 2019, but also the 12 inch one because it has uh, 120 Hertz. And I think when we, yes, this is the notification panel. Good. And I want to go to the control panel. Yes, control panel, go to settings. And what I can do here is go into the uh, display and brightness. And here we can see that we have the screen refresh rate, we can go to high up to 120 hertz, which is pretty, pretty cool on a tablet and uh, super fluid. So what do we have in terms of apps? I managed to add my account, my Huawei account here, but I didn't import any data. So we have the app gallery, we have paddle maps here um, by default. It asked me if I want to have uh, Huawei video enabled, Huawei books and Huawei music as I have like a free trial anyway of those, I thought, okay, let's try it out. And uh, they are also quite good. Huawei video, I made a video about it. <coughs> Especially here in Germany, it has some interesting things. 
So we have some applications here, some tools, large folders. Okay, I get it. Uh, tools here, contacts, clocks, find device, compass, stylus, uh, specific things like Neboa, MyScript, top apps, which is now, I think, advertisements. Ah, oh, they are installed. VPS Office and Filmora Go. Okay, I can try it out at least. Some business apps, and now we come to App Advisor, which is, I think, giving me advice, yes, to install applications for my country specific, like in this case, business applications. Uh, that have a little download icon at the side that show that they are not installed yet. The same goes for entertainment, for social media, for lifestyle, and even for games. So they are not installed. You can remove those folders if you want to. The same goes for now. Kid stuff is installed, interestingly enough. Uh, and yeah, that's basically it. So um, yeah, I still have some other shortcuts for the sound recorder, weather application and member center and so on. So it has a little bit of bloatware, I would say, or at least this, this suggestions is better than having it installed directly, uh, but you can get rid of it. Like who needs these lifestyle application? I don't need them. So just, I cannot get rid of them. Oh, I see. So this is um, well, a bit <laughs> disappointing. So I have maybe put them in somewhere else. So oh, maybe you can disable it here somehow, home screen settings. And no, I cannot disable this. Anyway, this is Harmony OS and uh, yeah, the full version of Harmony OS, Swift key, okay. And here we have the Huawei Assistant today where I can agree to all the stuff. And now it's firing up uh, yeah, tips and tricks and tells me what's going on here, giving me also some news and other things that might be interesting. So let's try unboxing the um, keyboard. So this is the Huawei Smart Magnetic Keyboard compatible with the Huawei MatePad 11. And we have some smart opening mechanisms here. As you can see here, there's an arrow and you can just grab it and open up this pretty easily. And the same on the other side as well. And you get also a nice instruction on how to put the tablet inside of this case and yeah how to use it and this case is very good because it protects also the front screen so let's open it up there we can see this uh, new there's a no pull tab for this one ah there's one uh, and it feels pretty heavy i have to say so might be a bit more protective than the MatePad Pro's case that I had before. No, it's exactly the same. It feels a bit heavy because there's something and an inlay in there with documentation, of course. Um, warranty probably and some other documentation. There's no cable or anything because this one uh, has no cable charging mechanism or something like this. This one charges uh, yeah, via NFC and you can see here some tips and tricks that you can see here. Tap the NFC area of the Huawei phone against uh, the button here uh, to get multi-screen collaboration. Shortcut screen, press FN and uh, the uh, upper button here for escape. There's also printed uh, now on it to get uh, the, uh, the escape option or the escape key. So we can get rid of this tip. Ah, maybe we can get rid of it later. Let's put the device in. It's held, holding up magnetically like this. And I can just put it like this. And then, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, Huawei keyboard. It automatically detected it via Bluetooth. I can say connect. It's connecting now. And now it is connected. My, it makes a nice little sound. And if I go into search here right now, okay, got it, got it. Don't remind me again. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> got it, got it, got it. Oh, this is not working. And pressing here is a bit flabby. Uh, as you can see, it's not like really solid. Okay, let's try something else. Try typing here. Uh, search. Yes, yes, agree. Uh, ah, typing typing experience is a bit different than on the MatePad Pro. Uh, the keys are good, 
There's also the German keyboard here for the German layout with this U, E, Ö uh, as uh, extra keys. And yeah, the rest looks fine to me. We have, uh, when we are going into an app, we have an, this button does nothing apparently. We have like those keys here as well for positioning. So I can move the cursor around. You can see it and I can also highlight text with this. So this is working fine. It feels a bit more flimsy, but cheaper than the uh, MatePad Pro's uh, keyboard. As I can see, I will make a comparison between those both. This feels a bit more premium and you see the color of the keys are also matching the color of the case. And here it is not, it feels a bit, uh, I have to check it out, but I think it's nice. This is a bit flimsy if I touch here uh, around but uh, I think it's okay. It's okay. So to close it up, just lift up. You have also second position as well if you want to have it more narrow down, but these are the only two positions. And if you want to close it, you can just close it like this and then close it like this. And you can see it has a nice protection for the front. So the keyboard has like a nice little layer here as well where it is a bit above and can touch the uh, surrounding of the screen to protect it well against scratches or anything else you can put it like in a, in a keyboard in a, in a, in a uh, together with this keyboard case you can put it into a laptop case or something like this here we can see the cutout for the uh, camera so you can still use the camera even with this um, Huawei um, magnetic keyboard attached so let's just position it. This has like the nice good feature that I can just position it like this. And uh, let's make it a bit quieter. Position it like this and use it almost like a laptop. But to use it like a laptop, what would come in handy would be this uh, Huawei M Pencil. This is the second generation of this pencil. Let me get this unboxed as well. So put this a bit away. There we have it. This is the M Pencil 2. We have some documentation here as well, as well as, yes, yeah, some tips, uh, different tips here. This is a more transparent one. This is more a uh, darkish one. As you can see here eventually. And yeah, I can exchange those tips if I want to. By default, it also comes, of course, with a tip. Let's get it out here. This is the new Huawei M Pencil. Still has this little uh, cut out here for the magnetic clipping on and we want to try it we we'll have to see where I have to magnetically clip on here so if I clip it on here on the top of the device uh, correctly let's get rid of this and then clip it on here on the top of the device it should then connect to the M pencil yeah there we have the connection to the M pencil I can say connect and now it is connected, it's charged 57%. I can have quick access to the notepad here and uh, double tap to switch um, from writing to uh, deleting stuff. There's free script handwriting support available. So if I take this, oh, the magnet is pretty strong. Swipe down here, I can also have free script. It's like giving me a tutorial how to do this. So you can just write here And it will just fill in whatever I wrote, which is pretty nice. And yeah, I can use this. Ah, oh, so fluid. Okay, this took a while to load. It's a Snapdragon 865, so shouldn't be too slow. And now I can press got it as well and update pedal search. Uh, and agree to everything, got it. Allow I and use. And yeah, use the device the way I want it to have it so this is pretty nice and together with the pen i think a nice addition and i think i'm not sure if huawei still has the pre-order for this uh, with the uh, keyboard case and the pen otherwise you have to buy the pen and the keyboard case separately for the matepad 11. Um, i will test it out now if you have some questions just write them down in the comment section that's everything for this unboxing uh, one thing i want to show maybe as the camera and try to Okay, next, 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 enable only one use. 
this is the back camera you could like put i don't know pencil case in here take a quick shot i think it has focusing yes it has focusing what about the front camera this is now positioned in the middle here you can see my uh, mate 40 pro recording this does it have uh does it have like some kind of uh no it doesn't have focusing on this but i think the photos work quite nice i don't like the mirror effect so I'll turn it off and yeah i will walk through all those uh, things with you on the harmony s device the mate pad 11. like i said if you have some questions write it down in the comment section that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye